Simchat Torah. Tonight, tomorrow night, next 48 hours, is the celebration of the Torah. Why are we celebrating Simchat Torah now and not on Shavuot, which is the day when we receive the Torah, when we read the Ten Commandments? Many even have the tradition, like at Chabad, that we don't have Torah reading the night of Simchat Torah. Some do, but it's a custom. Not everyone practices it. The dancing of the Torah is not about opening the Torah and about reading and learning and, her, and the Ten Commandments. Yes, we are concluding the five books. We are concluding. Uh, it's the Siyum, the end of the reading of the cycle of the year. But why now? Why not Simchan Shavuot? The Rebbe elaborates that Shavuot we received the first set of tablets. That was the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai. But then the tablets were broken. And because of the sin of the golden calf. When did we receive the second set of tablets? On Yom Kippur. And that's Yom Kippur, the day of the receiving of the second set of tablets. The Luchot Ashniyot. Simchat Torah is the conclusion of Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. It's the end of the season. Whatever we accomplish in the 48 hours of Rosh Hashanah, we accomplish on Simchat Torah in the 48 hours with joy and with happiness. Why the celebration of Simchat Torah after the second ta set of tablets and not the first one it is the point the Rebbe emphasizes that even if the tablets are broken, even if we have sinned, even if we miss something, we don't miss anything What we are connected with Hashem. It is Simcha Steire, the joy of the Torah. And that's what we celebrate. My friends, in the last few years since we have come to this new campus, the new Chabad house, the night of Simcha's Torah, we had about 400 people plus. Big celebration. Throughout Simcha's Torah and Shmini Atzer, it's probably about 500 people. And this year, very unfortunate, we are finding ourselves in a time where it's going to be very limited not only limited in people, but also limited in the way we're going to handle the dancing and the celebration of the Torah. It's very painful to have such a sign right by the Aaron Kodesh. No touching the Aaron Kodesh. Thank you for the guidance of Alberta Health Services. Really painful. So why are we celebrating? What's the celebration about? A famous story is told about the Rebbe's father, who was the chief rabbi in Yakhtin Oslav, however you pronounce it, in Ukraine. And for the scene of standing up and preserving and expanding Judaism and education to children, he was punished by the communist regime and was in Siberia for a number of years where, he end, where his life ended. The rabbits and rabbits and Chane, his wife relates that while they were in Siberia, the night of Simchas Torah on their own, and all he had with him, all they had with them, was the book of the Torah, the five books, 
and the book of Tanya. Reb Levi Yitzchok, Rav HaKodesh Reb Levi Yitzchok, danced the entire night of Simchas Torah with these two books on his own, or on the little night table that they had in their bedroom that they had, that they rented or had, in 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 a apartment in in Siberia. So an entire night he held his two books. He held the two books and was dancing. Why? How? Because it's Simchas Torah. It's the rejoicing of the Torah. We are the feet of the Torah. It's not about opening up the books. It's not about n- knowledge of the Torah. It's about the fact that Asher Bochar Bonu Mikola Amim, as the blessing that we say when we go up to the Torah, that Hashem has chosen us and given us His Torah. Hashem is happy, we are happy. We have lots to thank for. It's the weekend of Thanksgiving in Canada. On Simchas Torah Eve, the, the end of Simchas Torah, Monday, Yisru Chag. This Simchas Torah, we need to thank Hashem for what He is giving us. And we need to jump up to the plate, celebrate a lot and make the year a better year, make, uh, move it forward. On a practical level, we have a kafot tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday, the day of Simchas Torah. I'll share it in this WhatsApp, the Times. It's in the email. It will be on Facebook. We ask people to pre-register. Yes, it's late. But please, if you are planning to come, please do register. It's going to be very limited. No food. It's going to be with social distancing, all the precaution that we are taking above and beyond in order to preserve and protect lives. If you cannot come, or if you choose to stay home, it's not a sin. Celebrate. We're lighting candles this evening, ushering in the Shabbos and the last two days of Sukkot and Simchas Torah. Tomorrow night after Shabbos is out, we light candles again. Make Kiddush. Celebrate. Take out a book of Torah that you have. Rejoice and dance with it internally and externally. Tomorrow Shabbos is also Yizker. Yizker could be recited at home as well. Not the Kaddish, but Yizker, yes. At the same time, anyone who wants, we will mention the names of your loved ones during the prayers of Yizker here at the Chabad house. Tomorrow Shabbos. It will be approximately 11, 11.30. Prayers will start at 10. Simcha Stero, a good Yom Tev, a happy Yom Tev, most of all, a healthy Yom Tev and healthy winter. Good Yom Tev, good Yom Tev, good Yom Tev. Chag Sameach, Chag Sameach, Chag Sameach. Internal joy that will, as our sages tell us, simcha poets gather, joy breaks through all barriers and will break through these barriers of corona as well while watching, taking care of our, of our health and very soon with the ultimate celebration of Simcha Torah, Simchat Olam Al Rosham, the, the joy of the world, the everlasting joy with, uh, in, with our head, on our head, Vayhi Vishurun Melech, with the King Moshiach, 
that will dance together with us with the coming and revelation of Moshiach very soon. Good Yom Tev and good Shabbos.